Hello class, welcome back to another class of the intensive calculus course and in this class you are going to treat neighborhoods. Kindly watch the previous videos if this is your first time visiting this channel so that you get a straight understanding of the entire course. So, in this course we are going to look at neighborhoods. Under that we should expect delta neighborhood where we have open and closed neighborhood. We have deleted neighborhoods and we will take some two examples here. Kindly watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe and like as well. Neighborhoods basically means the people that live around you or some distance or any form of space around you that is basically neighborhood. How is neighborhood used in calculus and what is the meaning? How do we solve problems with neighborhood? So, when you say neighborhood, I'm going to start from intervals, which we have talked about in the previous videos. So, if I have an interval on the number line, I found the midpoint as well as the radius. But in this context, I'm going to have a center here, A. So whenever you are talking about neighbor, your neighbors, you take yourself as a center and people around you will be your neighbor. Meaning if I take A as my center, I'm going to have a certain neighbor here, A minus delta, another neighbor here, A plus delta. Where the distance from here to here is equal to the distance from here to here and that is delta. So at equal distance from A on the left and right side, you get the neighbors of A lying in these intervals. And that neighbors is limited by the length of this radius. So the total length of any neighborhood is equal to twice the delta. If the delta happens to be two, then you're going to have the length of your neighbor neighborhood to be four. So from here to here is twice this. That is what I mean. So the interval is actually around A. So A is our center. Take note of that. So if I'm to write the interval, if it is an open neighborhood, I'm going to get open A minus delta, comma A plus delta open. Where this will be written as A minus delta less than a certain X less than a plus delta from here i can deduce an absolute for this remember in the absolute we took delta we took it to be x minus c is always less than delta in the open case so how do we bring this back to this so we can see that our delta is here but what will be our c in this situation? We can choose c to be any arbitrary number, let's say x naught, which is a member of all real numbers. Then I can have absolute of x minus x naught will be less than my lambda. So, what do I do? So when I come here, I'm going to have the closed neighborhood as my angle bracket a minus lambda a minus delta a plus delta and this is also equal to a minus delta less than or equal to x less than or equal to a plus delta so these are the open and the closed neighborhoods of a so in neighborhoods there are some things to take note one we need a center or the particular number we want to find the neighborhood around. Then number two, we need to find the radius. How far you want to go away from this particular center. How far you want to create boundaries around it. And that gives us the radius. From here, let me take one example. That is one neighborhood of zero. If I have this question one neighborhood of zero this is how we solve it one neighborhood of zero 
0 becomes our center c0 then my delta becomes 1 from the neighborhood we have a minus delta less than or equal to x less than or equal to this if it is an open so if it is closed and you have this if it is open so assuming that it is open if i have my center zero delta one so we should create a neighborhood of one around zero so on the number line if i have zero here then what i'm supposed to do is i'm to create a boundary around zero on the left side on the right side so that here will be one here will be one so the question is demanding an interval so the interval of numbers which will fall in this neighborhood and how do we get that we need this place which is a minus lambda in this situation our a is zero so our a minus lambda we are going to have zero minus one and that is giving us negative one for our lower side for the for the upper side i'm going to have a plus lambda and that is going to give me 0 plus 1 and that is giving me positive 1 so my interval when it is an open is going to give me negative 1 1 so the neighborhood the one neighborhood of 0 is negative 1 1 and for a closed interval it will be negative 1 1 but the angle will be a closed angle or bracket angle so this is simply how we go about neighborhood what how far are we going around 0 1 if you go around 0 from the left side you're going to have negative 1 starting from here the right side is going to have 1 and all the elements within this interval is what we call the neighborhoods let me go to deleted neighborhood when we say deleted neighborhood the word deleted there brings a difference meaning that our center is not included when you say deleted neighborhood of yourself it means that you are not part of the interval it's only your neighbors so in this case we can say that my we can say that after you've written your interval then you just conclude that your x cannot be equal to the center c or the center a any center you have so let's see a particular example as i have two deleted to we say deleted find the let me write it for find the deleted to neighborhood neighborhood of zero so how do you go about that is the same thing i did my center c is two sorry my center is zero and the delta is two so to create my neighborhood i just subtract my 2 from my 0 so 0 minus 2 less than x less than 0 plus 2 and i'm going to get negative 2 less than x less than 2 so my interval will be open negative 2 comma 2 where x is not equal to 0 because my center is 0 that is deleted neighborhood so the only difference is that you introduce this term here s is not equal to zero s can be zero because you have deleted it out so in this interval when we are listing the values you are going to start from negative two up to two but zero will not be included this is the end of this class thanks for coming and joining to this class so see you in the next class don't forget to like the video as well